parts for my Simplicity Broadmoor 707. I took the carburetor off and the uh, regulator. And that's the battery that I had in it. That was the gel cell. That uh, really lasted a long time. It still seems to be fine. Still enough to turn the engine over. Uh, there's the gas tank. That really needs to be cleaned out. And so the carburetor really needs some work. Uh, I took the uh, motor out of it. It wasn't really too bad a job. So with the uh, internal combustion engines, they're always kind of dirty. Breezy. <laughs> Now that's the starter. That's a pretty husky starter, combination starter and generator. That works fine. And see the rest of the tractor here. The tires were a bit low, but I hadn't done anything with them for several years. So they're okay. Uh, I did a little bit of rewiring in there. But now I'm going to have to do a lot more of that. Those are two of the hubcaps. These. That's off for that one. And I'm interesting that the uh, I had to take the cub caps off to put air in it. That's the old uh, mower deck. So how good a shape that then? Pretty rusty. Try not too bad. Certainly needs painting. See that one. to do the electrification. It's cleaned up, but it seems pretty solid. So the one pink pen's a little loose, that could probably be tightened up easily. Otherwise, steering seems pretty good. Yeah, seems okay. Now this is the uh, motor drive that I just bought on eBay, about $75, 7.5 horsepower. Supposedly it works fine, looks like it's in good shape. It's set up for 480 volts. Pretty nicely made little unit. I had more of them for sale too, so this works. Might be interested in getting another one. Okay, here's the dozer blade for that broadmoor. Seems like it's in pretty good shape. Been sitting out here for a long time. Yeah, looks pretty rugged. Yeah, probably in pretty good shape. I just took that chain on there. Good shape. Might be able to use that.